Welcome everyone. Welcome back. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing today on this fine Wednesday night? I had to think for a second what day it was today. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Hello. New music? Yeah, it is. It's something that I just wanted to put as like the BGM. I wanted to change it up other than the one we've been listening to for a very long time. Like I've been playing the same BGM and I wanted to switch it up because it was getting old for me. So I was like, I should just put this out for you guys to listen. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. It's not my best stuff, but I thought it was good. I thought it was cool. Hello. I'm on this. I'm on your screen now. Hello. Welcome back, Tomiko. Hello, hello. Hello, Gigi. Welcome, welcome. Did you make the new intro music? Yeah, I made it. All the all the music you're gonna hear on this channel, for the most part, is probably me. If it if it doesn't credit anyone else, it was probably me. The only time I didn't make a BGM was um you guys remember my previous form? Um I didn't make that music for our BGM. Like our previous form before we evolved into who we are today. You know what I'm saying? Our different mode or outfit, you could say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanted to share it with you guys. Um Okay. Plan for today is Are you guys ready? You guys ready to beat this game finally? So today we're going to be playing a difficult game about climbing. Last time we got all the way to level 7. Can you believe that? We're almost at the top. I feel like we have a little bit left to go and then we beat the game. How long is it going to take us to beat level 7? Because that's the level we're on right now that we ended off at. I don't know. Don't know the proper route to do this last level. I don't know which way is the fastest and most efficient. But we'll figure that out. Level 7? Yeah, we're on level 7. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it's 6. I don't know. But let me open this game up. Yes, we made it to 7. Yeah, 7. 7 is... There's like a glacier level, I like to call it. There's a lot of icy parts. Um, it's like the snowy part of a mountain. Okay, let me open the game up. Boop. Here we are. Um, let me move you guys up a little bit. So we can see ya. Um, okay. Yeah, we're on level 7. Uh... Okay, good. It's saved from our previous run. That is very loud. Can you guys hear the volume? How does that sound? Look, it's us again. The naked man trying to climb this treacherous mountain. Will we ever reach the top? I don't know. Were we a, a professional climber in our past life? Probably. Because why would we be climbing this mountain naked? Maybe it's like a challenge instead of you, you guys know how there's like uh, freehand climbing where you don't use any protection if you fall. Well, this guy made a new type of climbing, naked climbing. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to watch that on TV? It's almost like naked and afraid, but climbing a climbing version of naked and afraid. All right. Um, okay. Hopefully the volume sounds good. Alright. Oh my gosh. I haven't picked up this game since the last time we played. So this is level 7. The icy region. I really... It would be a shame. I'm not even going to jinx it. But it would be shame a shame if we had to restart the game. You know what I mean? I didn't really say... Like... The thing I don't want to manifest... I sort of believe in manifestation. Like, if you say something out loud, it could come true. Or it's most likely going to come true. So I'm not going to say 
uh, my my fears that could happen today. Okay. Hi, Dine. I'm here, but I'm watching from Tomiko's creature on Discord. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome back, Kitaro. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, okay. So let's just start climbing. Why don't we? Jinxed it. Did I jinx it? I didn't really say it verbatim, but I sort of said it in a way that I don't think will manifest it, you know? Um, let's see. All right. Let us go. All right. So last time we learned the new ability uh, of jumping. So basically, you want to put your... Wait, how did we do it last time? You go... You put your left arm to the bottom right of your body and then you jump a little bit and release as you're swinging over. Let's practice that real quick. While well, we have the protection of the water to protect us as we fall. We'll have a little leeway and leverage. So let's practice. Okay, that was a good jump. Oh, you can sort of slide on the ice. Wait, can you grab on the ice? Wait, let's test something out real quick. So let's try practicing a, a good left swing jump. Oh, yeah, you can slide very slowly if you hold down on the ice as you're falling. So that's a way to, like, save yourself from falling really far down. All right. So I think where we want to go is to the top left where that rock is. Not the one really far left. Or actually, maybe we do this. Go to the edge of this rock and swing to the rock adjacent to us. Not the one above us. Okay, so that's, I think that's going to be the easiest jump instead of going from the one ab above us. Of us trying to go to the rock right above us. Because we could try this. Wait, maybe that jump is possible. I don't know. So we put our right hand there and then we... Mm, it doesn't seem like we can go to that. We're an inch short of us touching the grabbable rock. So if we put our right hand the top uppermost left of this rock, can we jump up and grab that rock right above us with our left hand? Let's try. C should we swing as we're doing this? As we're trying to Go to the rock above us. Okay, well, we sort of saved ourselves by gliding on the rock. Or the ice. Excuse me. But I... Oh! Wait! You can stop yourself fully on the ice. Oh. But you can't jump up. But you can stop yourself completely. But you can't really move on the ice when you're stopped. Um, maybe we swing over there. That's too hard. I think, um, do you think we can like, wait, let me see. Let's try to like jump up, like swing and then jump. Or maybe we might have to put our left hand on the ice slide a little bit and then sort of jump up with our right hand and grab the rock that way that could work possibly or we could just grab this rock that we're on right now and just swing over to the one close to us that worked okay perfect oh perfect okay so now we know that's the route we want to take Let's say if we fall down, which most likely is going to happen. And we'll go up to the rock right there. All right, let's keep climbing. There are some easy parts. Ooh, I don't want to jinx ourselves right now. Like some of these, 
um, rock holds are easy. You just need to reach. My drinks are on my desk. I hope I don't spill them. Okay, so this is a swinger ski. So we got to swing to the rock right next to us. Swing with our left hand, grabbing the rock. And then we'll try to grab the rock to our right with our right hand. Perfect. <laughs> As I'm doing these jumps, my whole desk shakes because I'm using my full arm strength. Wait, where do we go from here? No way we have to jump up. We, we would have to be on drugs to make that jump. We would have to be on performance enhancing climbing power booster drugs <laughs> to make that jump to our top right, to the top right rock. There's no way we can hit that. I'm actually gonna move my drinks off my desk because I feel like this could go wrong really quick. So I'm gonna move them before anything happens. All right, hopefully those don't fall off. I put them on a different desk. Wait, so where do we go? To our right? Don't jinx it. I'm trying not to, but I keep saying what I <laughs> am not trying to jinx. <laughs> um, okay, so we could go down. Maybe, let me, let me grab the lowermost part of the rock so we can, can we look down? Is there a way to look down a screen that we're on? Okay, I'm going to just try to swing to that rock right beside us. That looks grabbable. Oh! Wait, there was a rock. There was a rock there. There was a little tiny rock that we could grab. We just needed to swing a little bit more to the right, and then we would have slid and grabbed it. Okay, okay. All right, let's go back up. We know what rock we want to grab on for this first section. Um, probably doesn't matter where our right hand is. Let's jump. Okay, maybe that was a fluke of us getting that jump the first time. Let's keep trying it. So whenever you want to move left or right, you got to use, uh, you got to swing with the opposite hand you want to go to. Like where you want to jump to. If that makes sense. So we're using our right hand to swing to the left and using our left hand as the aiming hand. <gasps> that was okay, okay. I gotta work on our jumps. But I'm I'm pretty surprised how how our knowledge from last time that we played is correlating with today. Cause the jumping mechanic was so hard last time, but now we can do it. Like, first try sometimes. Oh, that was a decent jump. Just didn't get enough height there. Needed a little more, more vertical. I am a, a person who cannot jump IRL. I have the, the shortest hops known to man. No matter how tall you are, you can probably jump higher than me. My, my vertical is so bad. I, I get like two inches off the ground and I'm like, damn, did I, did I, uh, like w whenever, like I've always wanted to dunk a basketball and every time I try to hit the rim, I, I jump like two inches from the top or I jump like two inches off the ground and I'm like, I, I asked the people who were watching, did I touch rim? Was I close? And I'm nowhere near to touching the room but then i always dreamed of me dunking so i always keep trying i'm four eight you could probably jump higher than me i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie oh that was so bad your release has to be perfect when you're doing the swinging jumps but I'm glad since we haven't played in a while, our memory is still good of how to finagle the controls. Alright. I think this one is just trial and error. We'll get it eventually, but it's hard to get it the second try. Because we got the edge of that rock. 
the very bottom edge of that rock we got our hand on it um okay 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 uh, maybe that's a strat we don't even swing we just jump upwards to the left that was the closest jump that we had so far other than the time we actually made the jump that's it i didn't even think we were on the rock it looked like we were still in the ice we should have slipped off i'm not gonna lie but i'm not mad about it i'm really not sir <gasps> oh, oh. don't fall jump there we are nice hop sir i'm gonna assume oh my gosh this level looks impossible jump that was close my swing was not the best there we didn't get enough horizontal horizontal jumping and whatever that means wait why am i swinging to the left i want to go to the right so i'm thinking we go to the highest point here and we try to jump as far as we can and just hope we slide on the rock that's below us to the right all right let's try it swing jump what that was unfair man maybe we have to glide with one of our hands like our left hand and then try to reach for that rock we're trying to get to with our right mid fall you know because we jumped really far we jumped we hit the edge of the rock and it bounced us back towards the left like the rock that's um above the rock we're trying to go to i think we hit it and it bounces back to the left a little more i don't know bad jump bad jump oh did you guys see speaking of um well i wasn't even talking about news but you know what i'm gonna bring it up anyways <laughs> did you guys see uh since uh, i'm assuming you guys like valorant well i like valorant so i thought this was cool um there's a new agent called clove it starts with a c i don't remember the name but it's like it's a new character and it's always exciting when a new character comes out because the game becomes like super fresh and new i was waiting for them to come out with a new character how many do they have now almost 40 40 characters in total not gonna lie valorant has been feeling dry but with this new character added i'll give it some more comp games i'll let it consume my my mental for another month before it comes becomes stale again i don't know the abilities the new character has but i'm excited i wonder if she's like a duelist initiator or what are the other roles? Sentinels? Wait, I just realized there's a Valorant team named Sentinels and then there's a Sentinel role in Valorant. Whoa. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. Ugh, I missed the jump. Shucks. But I wonder what ability she actually has. I don't know. If, like, yeah. Did they come out with the cinematic of the game? Or the new character? Oh! I was so close. Up. We go I hope this level's not too long we will get it the jump I'm hoping <laughs> not after that attempt <laughs> that was the worst attempt we've had yet our, our right hand placement has to be like a little upwards I think I don't know what's the best way to get height is it's 
See, like there, I don't know what we did wrong. Like we didn't go far enough left. Alright, but this will be trial and error with Dine. Maybe we're not. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. We had so much distance on that. We we jumped on the middle of that rock and not on the edge that time. That was a beautiful jump. Pat's on the backs. That was beautiful. Pog. I'm pogging. <gasps> Don't want to jinx myself too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. All right. Swing. Nice. All right. We need to have a great jump like we did on that first jump that we've been struggling at on this level. <gasps> That was so bad, dude. We we wrecked ourselves with that jump. I I was trying to grab on the ice mid jump, but it it kind of effed us up. All right, that's not what we're supposed to do. Like we grabbed on the ice and it ricocheted us more to the left, and we were nowhere near that our objective. <laughs> the louder I grunt, the better the jump will be. Watch. Watch this jump. I'll do a super loud grunt like they do in tennis matches. Like, oof, oof, as they're hitting the tennis balls back and forth as they're volleying the ball. Ooh! See, it works. It works. What am I, what am I saying? I'm telling you guys. That's the strat. Real. Not clickbait. Video full of grunting. Ow, don't fall. We almost missed that. Jump! Can you guys hear my chair creaking? I'm like leaning back slightly. Cause like, I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's more comfortable. And it squeaks every time I lean just a little bit back. It's like the world's creakiest chair. You know in horror movies when the door slowly opens and you hear like the really creaky door noise? That's my chair. But it's not a horror movie. It's just my chair when I sit on it. Alright, that was a nice jump. All right. How about oof? <laughs> that, I just tried to send it. I wasn't trying to think. Thinking's bad for the mind. You don't want to strain your brain, so don't think, just do. I actually tell myself that sometimes. We're getting so good at that jump. Up to the right. Up to the left, up to the right, up to the left, up with the right, up with the left. One, two, one, two. Ah, I missed the jump. Or the grab. Sometimes when you move your mouse up, it does not get the full height you want it to do. Not when you're jumping, just when you're trying to go up. That was a beautiful jump. <gasps> I have an idea. Maybe we go to the bottom of this rock and then try to jump over. Ooh. What? We were on at that time. But our our top speed messed us up. Like, I, I swear I grabbed the rock. But we were going too fast as we were falling down and I think our hand slipped even though the rock wasn't slippery. We were on top of it. We're doing this jump first try too. This is good. We're improving s stupendously fast. I want to look back on the the older vods and see 
how much we've improved since the first time we began this game, which was like a week or two weeks to a month ago when we first tried this game out. I mean, this is our third or fourth stream of this game. I gotta look back on it and see how much we've improved. Yes! Oh, so you have to slide on the ice to cancel that momentum speed so you can actually get a grab of this rock. Okay, go up. Nice. We're learning. I barely stopped the momentum too. I think I used only one hand to stop it. Top bar, top speed as we were falling down. I, I probably should have used both of my hands to stop. Are we supposed to go to the right? That looks so dangerous. That's so dangerous. I don't think our hand's on. I wasn't going to risk it there. I feel like there's no safety net below us right now. Is that on? Oh my. That's not on. I get worried. If you're like on the edge of the ice and the rock, I get worried that it's going to slip no matter what. Like it's not going to register that you're on the actual rock. Oh shit. Do we have to do a little jumpy? Wait. Or maybe we can do a full jump. Not our best jump, but it did the job that we wanted it to do. Okay, so we got a couple more slidey rock jumps. All right, let's see if we can do this first try. No, all the way back to the bottom of this level. It's not bad. We didn't go that far down. No, we didn't first try that jump this time. We're getting worse, chat. No! Just grab onto the rock. I know your hands are tired and might be bleeding. But just do what I'm telling you to do, man. It will be okay. But I play video games as if they were real life. I'm stressed. If I don't beat this game, that means I'm not a winner. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a game. It's just a game, bro. <laughs> Welcome back, Flame. Hello. Oh! This jump is so hard. Sometimes we can first try, but other times we can't. You'll be a winner as long as you believe it. You're right. I am a winner. That's why I just made that jump. Positive affirmations. I'm a winner. I'm super cool. I, I, I'm basically a comedian on the internet. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> I'm not. I always wanted to be a comedian. Like a stand-up comedian. But I realized I would just embarrass myself and get really sweaty on stage and then just run off stage and leave the venue if I were to do a comedy show. I do not know how people make stand-up comedy fun. It's like the most anxiety inducing thing to do because you're up on stage alone and you want to make a whole crowd laugh and it could be like a tough crowd where no one laughs at your jokes and then your comedy routine is basically tarnished because it was such a bad crowd you got to work the crowd Ooh! yes okay we got to this part a second time I wonder if there has been a kid out there. You know how, like, 
when kids are really young, they're like, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a, a teacher. I want to be a, a magician. Was any kid like, I want to be a VTuber? I feel like in the future, that's going to be a real thing. Or, you know, kids will be like, uh, instead of being like, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be a, a, like, um, a blacksmith. I like, wait, what are the, <gasps> like people who make tools, what are they called? It's not a blacksmith, that's like fantasy, fantasy jobs. Ugh. Nice. Maybe the kid's like, I want to be an AI. I don't even want to be human anymore. Teacher, how do I become an AI? It's my long life dream. I want to be in the metaverse, teacher. Do you think you think I can get there one day? And the teacher's going to be like, this kid is too far gone. I need to retire. <laughs> oh! Oh! Slide. All right, we didn't fall that too, too far down. I don't know if that's a real thing, though. A toolsmith? Or the people that, like, oh, welders. That's sort of like a blacksmith in modern times. All right? Because when you think of... <gasps> when you think of blacksmith, you think of, like, people who make swords, weapon shields... Things in like isekai animes, like the gnome, the gnome class usually are the ones who are blacksmiths, or yeah, gnomes. Wait, who are the short like fantasy people? It's gnomes, right? No, it's not gnomes. It's oh my, who are the, like the. Like, the really short people. Dwarfs! Yeah! I was thinking, I was about to say, who are the people from, like, Lord of the Rings? Like, dwarfs, yeah. That class is, like, known to be, like, really good blacksmiths. And really good at creating things. <laughs> oh, we missed that jump up again. Just slide all the way down. We'll keep doing this jump until we get it. Because we have a little leverage if we fall here. What class, chat, if you were in a fantasy, what class would you want to be? I already know mine. I've thought long and hard about this scenario. Wow, our hands went to the sides of the rock. We didn't get a grab. Ooh, don't fall. I would be a, like a thief. Even though I wouldn't rob people. Like, just have those abilities like sneak skill like like not an assassin build but like a very quiet like sneaky character who's very nimble on their feet and good at like hand-to-hand -hand combat and like yeah stuff like that yeah. ah. nice it's funny on how the hobbits are smaller than the dwarves oh yeah in the lord of the rings they're hobbits right Okay, let's go to the very, uh, right here. This looks like a good spot. We got to have a nice horizontal jump here. I'd be a healer, but then, like, sign myself to be the main villain's personal healer so I could run away when they actually need it. Oh. So you're a villain in a fantasy world. Interesting. I mean, being a villain wouldn't even be bad. Because some of the villains, if we're talking about animes, they're funny. <laughs> that was going to be a crazy recovery. We almost double-handed jumped to uh, that rock that we have to get up to now. That was going to be a crazy recovery if we made that. Healers are cool classes. Oh, nice, for sure. I would want to be a major someone with uh, that mess with potions or healing things. Oh. So you guys want to be healers or, like, 
Sort of like wizards. Not wizards. Spellcasters, maybe? Okay, nice. Magic. Oh, yeah, true. I forgot magic was a thing. Yeah, magic. I would only want to use very little magic. Like, I wouldn't want to know how to use magic, but that's not my main thing, you know? Nice. Oh, so if you just swing far to the right and you glide on the ice, it's a lot easier to grab this rock that we are just on or just were on yeah. like if you glide on the ice instantly yeah. it's almost impossible to miss that jump but we just didn't know that the first times to this yeah. rock there we are we're getting better improving little by little it's all practice i just say that so i don't demotivate myself or unmotivate myself I feel yeah. bad for this man's fingers they're only bleeding and bruised and he has no fingernails anymore what is there to feel bad about that doesn't sound that bad he's also naked in the arctic it's snowing he probably has frostbite on top of his bruised bloody hands Oh, wait. Alright. This level is swinging and sliding? Yeah. And we gotta use both of those techniques here. Ooh. Ooh. That was so bad. If you miss that jump, you go all the way back here. Is it even po- oh, I'm not even gonna say that. I don't want to manifest my fears. I was gonna say, is it possible for us to even go all the way back to the beginning from here? I don't know. I hope it's not possible, because I would be... I, I, I think I would actually not play the game anymore. Like, I would just quit. But then we wouldn't be winners in life. We would be the opposite of winners. <laughs> I said it. If it manifests, you know, actually, no. <laughs> I feel like saying anything or your or your fears out loud is bad vo juju. Is it juju or voodoo? Like bad luck. It's almost like stepping on cracks on like a sidewalk. You know, they say if you if you step on cracks on a sidewalk, you like you break old people's backs or something magically i don't know how that works it's a superstition or like if you if you um oh your mother's back that would be funny if that was true Imagine you have like all these kids stepping on the sidewalk outside just to <laughs> that, that would actually be kind of <laughs> Horrific every every kid is outside just stepping on the same crack Constantly and their mothers are like stop it. It hurts. It hurts That's actually like a horror movie. That should be a horror movie short story or short film That's a that's a w weird enough concept that I think it could work as a horror short film. Up, 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 up. Yeah. I'm so close. Just reach a little further, man. Yeah, 
don't step on cracks. You'll hurt your parents' backs. That was the worst jump known to humankind. Oh, maybe it's best to not even swing. Maybe it cancels your jumping momentum. Oh, we almost missed that. Hold. All right, we're going to go back to where we were. It's that one hold we keep messing up. We haven't gone past it. We'll try to get there. This. Run. Why did I let go? Don't let go. It'll make me sad. Sad. Sag. Alright, we swing onto this rock. To the right. Oh, nice. Okay. So what we do here is... Go to the bottom, preferably. And just bang our head on the rock. And do a 360. And fall into the ice-cold water naked. We let go of our grip. I think my right hand needed to be further to the left of the rock. Like, you have to have good hand positioning if you're not going to swing. Ooh, maybe... Hmm. I want to get to the point where I can do the same intensity of a jump 100% of the time. N maybe 98.9% .9 of the time. So maybe if you... Right hand. Ooh. Why? I'm jumping out of my chair. Because I'm mad. That you're not grabbing the things I want you to grab. What? <laughs> you're making me mad. You don't want to see me when I'm mad. Unless you do. Whoa! Swinging did help there. Wow, we got to the far left of that rock. That was our best jump yet for that rock hold. Top tier gameplay. I mean, I am known to have the best of the best gameplay. <laughs> you don't want to see me when my demon comes out. <laughs> my inner alpha. My demon that's inside of me. He's a sigma. And then he mews instantly when you see him. Ooh, nice jump. And then he barks like a wild dog. And then he howls. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Get your grab hands back on that rock. Get your bearings. Yeah. <sighs> nice. We just need one good jump on this one sliding jump -ruski. Nice hold. Got the edge of the rock there. This side of the mountain grabs scare the poop out of me. Because I feel like that's a way to fall the way back to the bottom. All of my fingernails have fallen off. I'm so sorry, man. But you have to do it for the people. They're watching. I'm using the opposite hands of what I'm supposed to do. That was a terrible jump maneuver. We went sideways. Alright. That was... That was the worst one yet! My, my inner sigma is coming out. <gasps>
Nice. Sorry, go back inside. Sigma. Demon. Once he comes out, there's no going back. It's Jover. All you'll hear from me is howling once my inner Sigma comes out. Just to show dominance. Because that's what the wolf pack does. Whoever howls the loudest is the leader. My demon's the leader. <laughs> my inner demon. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> All right, swing. I literally curl my toes because I think I'm going to miss that jump every time we slide. That puts some bad imagery in my head. Forget I said that. <gasps> Grab onto the rock. I'm falling and I can't get up my fingers are hurting just thinking about this guy's hands or maybe maybe his fingers are all intact nothing is happening to his hands maybe he's he's immortal you don't know that's what he's saying really that was like a one in five chance that that was going to happen. That we missed that rock jump. We had enough distance, but... Ooh! Welcome, Dreamy. Welcome, welcome. We're on the last level. Ah, jump. We're on level seven, everyone. How far are we into level seven, though? All right, we gotta slide jump this. What? We slid too late. We slid too late. That's a shame. Up, two, three, four. Up, up. Up. Don't grab onto the ice. We will fall and die. That's horrible death. Why? The rock goes in between both of our hands. That's such a shame. To the left! Alright, let's try to slide so our hand falls on this rock as we're sliding on the ice. Why are we not grabbing it? Well, I know why we're not. We're sliding too far past it, but like... Come on. Lady Luck, show me your grace. There we are. All right, jump up. Yes, we're safe. Now, this is the jump we've had trouble on so far, the most trouble on. This is the jump. So we want to sort of jump a little higher than we think and then just glide on the ice. All right, a lot's riding on this jump. My neck is cramping. Oh, I'm stretching. Fully stretch. All right, let's try it. Well, <laughs> let me give my mouse enough desk space so I can do a full maneuver with my mouse, with my swinging hands. You, you guys didn't see that. Please don't look. Look away. Look away. Look away. Look Look away. Hey, I think my, my screen glitched. How do we get back here? You guys didn't see a thing. We'll, we'll get back up there really fast. So it's no problem. I promise. Look, we're almost there. We didn't fall that far down. Yeah. Yeah. 
The devs need to fix that? Yeah, I know. It's like a rare glitch. It's like one out of a million percentage that that glitch is going to happen. Kind of crazy that we got it then and there at that specific moment. Right? <laughs> I'm going to make a complaint letter, a long paragraph to the devs. I want to slam my desk. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll call it since since we're the only ones in the world who's gotten that glitch, we'll just call it the, the DNA glitch. First time ever caught on camera. I know. It's just so unlucky. <laughs> it's just so unlucky that that had to happen. Nice. What? Why did we let go? I did not let go. Oh, they need to fix this game. It keeps glitching on me. I don't know what's going on. It's not just because I'm bad. It's because the game's glitching, I swear. <laughs> that time it was my fault. Alright. Up we go. Up see daisies. I'm becoming a little more impatient. As time goes on with this game, I become more impatient. Ah! Oh, nice, nice, nice. Wasn't the best, but we got the hold on that rock there. Wasn't the best jump, but it was good enough. Left hand up, right hand follows. Left hand up, right hand follows. Left hand up! Right hand follows. Nice jump. If we get to back where we haven't progressed yet, that little really tough rock jump will be golden. This always scares me. Oh, wow. Didn't look like we were actually holding on to anything there. To the left. I think even if we fall to the right from here, we still land in the water. I'm pretty sure. Our hands go on the opposite sides of the rocks and don't land on the rock as we're sliding. Maybe, maybe we're jumping too far left. And we just need to do a really uh, not horizontally distant jump like that. Yeah, so we get one of our hands on this rock. Okay, we're back. We're back. What is this guy trying to reach? A little treasure or something? He's trying to find himself. Because, guys, it's not always about what is at the top of the mountain. It is about the journey and the friends you make along the way. But I'm pretty sure there's a sick treasure chest up there with a million dollars in cash sent by Mr. Beast. That's why he's naked. It's a challenge. It's a Mr. Beast challenge. It's for a YouTube video. He wants that money. But it's 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 about the friends and the memories he make along the way. That's the real treasure. Alright, don't mess this up. <laughs> you are so Great at jumping. Yep. 
I'm glad I moved my drinks. We would have spilled instantly if I left them on my desk. We don't want the great spill of 24 to happen again, do we now, chat? Do we? Then we would have to name the spills on the exact date and not the year. <laughs> the spills are a one-time thing only. Per year. There's only one great spill a year on my desk. And it's already happened. <laughs> the great spill of 24 part 2. I guess, yeah, instead of putting the exact date, we could just put like part 2, part 3, part infinity. Wow. I'm doing the gritty in the water. Look at me. Look at me go. I can actually not do the gritty. That is one dance move I cannot do. I feel like if I watched a tutorial, I could do it, but... I just want to be able to do it instantly. I don't want to have to learn. Because that's kind of cringe. Actually, no, it's not. I think when I was younger. I I really like those uh those dance videos that you see on YouTube. They might still do them uh, to this day, but I don't know. Um, but it's like uh, group dance videos. It's almost like hip-hop dance. Dancing to like current songs. Or the most recent poppin' songs. I used to watch those a lot, and I thought I could become a dancer, but um, or I, I like dancing. I, I never really wanted to become a dancer, but I thought, damn, if I watched them, I could become a great dancer. That was too bad of a jump. Um... I still remember this joke a kid made about his mom asking him to get some floss in the store and he started to do the floss. I I'm I'm cringing a little just thinking about that. I can't imagine the actual video. I never did the floss. Could you imagine that? But I always bust down an orange justice when the time needed to happen. I always bust out that crazy orange justice. Like if someone was like, do the Fortnite dance. I would bust it out with no hesitation. <laughs> you guys remember the orange justice move? I remember uh, the way it got introduced to Fortnite. This could be wrong. This could be fake. I don't know how true this is, but I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere that the Orange Justice dance move. So basically, it was a part of the, it was like a Fortnite community challenge where if you send in a video of you dancing, um, you could make your dance, original dance, an emote. And the Orange Justice didn't win, but the the comments of whatever the competition was they were like this needs to become an emote and then the orange justice was birthed into fortnite and became one of the most popular dances other than like the default dance move i hated it with my whole soul the floss or the orange justice not the orange justice come on that's 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 based. Actually, but if you weren't justice these days, it's a little cringe. Not gonna lie. It could be funny in this right circumstances. But don't just whip it out, you know? People might cringe. That's the PSA, PSA. Don't orange justice in 2024. Hit the woe instead. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm I'm remembering like all the old dance moves. Before that it was like Gangnam style and then it was like the Soldier Boy. Shit. Yeah. 
What other ones were there? Let's reminisce. The Harlem Shake? That wasn't really a dance move. You would just wiggle your body. The Black Beatles Challenge. Where you would freeze and take a video of everyone in the room being frozen. And everyone was in on the joke. You know? Like the song, a song would stop and then everyone in the room would freeze and then someone would take a video of it. Uh, Gangnam Style will always be led because it's on Just Dance. You're right. There's actually a song I really like that was from like Just Dance like 2010. It was Beauty and the Beat by Justin Bieber and Nicki Minaj. That song is a bop. I love that song. It holds up to this day. Why? You can't recover as you're sliding. Beauty and the beat. You want to make my life complete. I've actually heard that song at like clubs before. Where they do remixes of Beauty and the Beat. I only think I heard it once, but when it came on, I was like, holy shit. This is from Just Dance 2010. <laughs> you guys remember? I would, I would share that with everyone. Even though no one knew what I was talking about. Do you remember the Just Dance 2010 song? Beauty and the Beat? And everyone would be like, no, you're crazy. Stop Orange Justice. Or cringe. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not that cringe. I'm a normal person. Why can we not reach? What is happening? I'm literally using my whole desk to try to reach. All right, there we are. All right, I'm tired of losing. Time to time to let out our inner demon out just for a little bit. my inner demon. Alright, go back inside. Your time is done. Reach. <laughs> this game is a workout. Not really. It doesn't work out any muscles. Maybe you like forearm? Because you're holding down the right click and left click so hard but other than that <laughs> it's not really a workout i would say i mean it could be <gasps> oh! we didn't have enough space so we fell it works out the brain you're right my brain right now is doing crunches it's so buff like, it has, like, a 10-pack on my brain. Like, you know how they say if you have more wrinkles on your brain, that's that means you're really smart or more smarter? That's not English. <laughs> We're talking about becoming smart. Or having more wrinkles means you're smarter. And I just said more smarter. Don't follow my English or my grammar. It's bad. But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this, this game makes me have more wrinkles on my brain. It just, it, it, it added one wrinkle to my smooth brain.
one arm gets absolutely ripped, you're right. You guys can't tell. But my other, my right arm is like 3x the size of my left. Because that's my mouse hand, my right hand. Half of my classmates have like two. Oh. Oh. I'm assume. I'm gonna assume they're not your friends. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I have a little assumption that I just made. Jump. 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 Nice. Right hand up. Um. Shit. Jump to the left. No. Uh. All right. I need a drink. I need sugar in my system. Placing drink not on my desk. Nice hold. To the right, jump, nice. Go down, go down. <gasps> oh, that was so bad. No. Oop. Oh, man. I'm getting tunnel vision because we keep messing up at the same parts. Up. <gasps> nice. All right, we swing. I'm sweating. Maybe this game is a workout. Nice. All right. Up. 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 I missed it. All right, put your hand on the left, your left hand on the rock, and then jump up with your right. Up. I missed. I missed. Oh. Alright, let me reset on this rock that we're currently on. Jump! I missed. Why? Alright, reset again. Nice. 
Eso. If you miss, you slide down a little bit. I forgot about that. You basically have to do these jumps in one try. Or after, if you mess up your first attempt, you have to sort of reset your positioning on each rock. What? I didn't slide fast enough. So we slid across the rock that we were supposed to grab on. Up, up. <gasps> okay, okay, that's fine. All right, reset, reset. We messed up that attempt, so we reset. Up, up. Stop, stop, stop. All right, gotta hold on that rock. Slight jump. Our hands went to the sides of the rock, so we didn't grab on it. On it. Oh wow, wow, wow! That could have been a big mistake. Gotta get to the. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, we're holding onto the icicle. There we are. I always fail. I always fail at that jump. I swear, once we get it the first time, game is GG over with. We'll win. But we just need to hit that jump. Is there like a strategy that we should implement for that jump? I feel like swinging and just jumping is not working. Maybe I get too nervous. I can't perform when the time needs me. Just like there. Swinging does the opposite effect sometimes. It cancels your s uh, momentum. Maybe you need to do that hop jump. Like... A hop jump. Sort of like this. Wait. Instead of swinging. Possibly. We could try that next. But I don't know how to 100% do that jump. Every time. Sometimes I mess up. I mean, we can practice on this jump right here. Because this is a perfect time to practice it. Like, sort of right hand. Or left hand to the bottom right. And then you just whoop. Sometimes it's hard. to do it. There we are. You have to be smooth with those jumps because any little mistake makes you mess it up with those just jumping um, maneuvers. there oh nice 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 grab on Nice. 
friends. Right, we're back here. Let's try it. Let's try to do the jump. No! That was better, but... We didn't get enough distance, but we got so much distance. I just... Hypocrited myself. Like, we got a little bit of distance, more than we usually do, but not enough. Timing? Yeah, you're probably right. Like, see, like, that jump from the right to the left to this most left rock was smooth. We got to do that. I let go. Why is this so hard? Okay. No, we're beating this game today. No matter how long it takes us. That was bad timing there. was nice i don't know what we do differently to make those jumps those jumping jumps more smooth because sometimes they're super smooth and we get a lot of distance but sometimes we cancel that jumping momentum or force like that jump that we've been failing on a lot we keep losing Momentum. See, if we jump like that on the rock that we keep failing on, that we can't get past to progress, we'll be golden. Come on, man. Come on! <gasps> I'm about to fall. Saved. Mm. Nice hold. When he sad moans, it makes me think that I'm gonna fall. <gasps> like there. Nice slide jump. That's what we wanted the, the rock to do. Here's the thing. You think we can jump up? No, it's too far away, right? Going from this rock to the one right above us. It's too far of a gap to jump. We have to go to the left. <gasps> I think I know what we do. Instead of swing from up there we go to the uppermost um or the furthest rock hold to the left like right there oh no all right that's okay Mistakes happen. Everyone has those days. Everybody makes mistakes. Or whatever, how the song goes. Go back up this rock. Jump to the left. Oh. Eh. 
guys. We do the best jumps on the parts that we've already beaten before. But that would make sense because we keep doing the jumps. I don't know what that means. Alright. One hand after the other. We just gotta focus. Really? <laughs> that was the opposite of focusing. That was unfocusing. That was weird. My headphones are in the way. Maybe if I move them slightly, ever so slightly. That will change. All right, to the right we go. Back to climbing the old Mount Everest. Isn't climbing Mount Everest really dangerous? Why would a anyone sign up to climb it? Unless you're a climber. End is near, chat. I feel it. We're almost there. Um. Apparently, it's just a big line now. What do you mean? Like, just too many people want to climb it? You have to, like, there's a line to climb a mountain. That's crazy. I feel like... That has to be new. Maybe a lot of people are just want to climb Mount Everest now and there's a really long line, almost like an amusement park line. Uh, but this amusement park ride can kill you probably with extreme cold environment. And there's, I think, um, Avalanches are very common, right? I've almost fallen off a mountain before skiing, so I can imagine. Well, that wasn't a really great comparison, but I guess they're somewhat similar in some way. Not really. Hello, VB. Welcome back. Ohio. Ohio. Grab. We're on level seven right now. Wait, wait. All right, all right. Zen. Clear mind. I'm thinking about blue skies in the top of this mountain and how it's going to feel when we get at the top. My mind is a temple. We shall make this jump this time. My mind is a broken temple. It shall never recover and be built ever again. It's already too broken. The damage is done. It's an abandoned, broken temple. That is my mind. That I call my mind. That wasn't actually too bad of a jump. Just didn't land it. Hopefully that's the hardest jump of this level. Because I feel like once we do that jump that we just failed... We'll win. But who said this was going to be easy? Not me. Alright, to the right. 
That was a close one. We barely grabbed that rock there as we slid down. All right, left hand at the top, and then we'll use our right hand to grab that little edge. Up, 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 up. I gotta do a little side jump. Nice. This jump is just too far to the... Oh, wait! You know what we forgot to do? We get, forgot to swing from the leftist most side of the rock. The timing was terrible for me there. Okay, set up, set up, Dina. Set up, set up. Shrimp posture check. I'm looking like a big shrimp. The most shrimpy of them all. I'm the head honcho shrimp because my posture is so bad. My posture looks like a shrimp. I hope it doesn't ca cause long-term yeah. side effects because of my gamer posture is so bad. I realize what I'm hunching more when I walk around, so the way I sit, especially in cars, since I like to sort of lie down, every time I get in a car for a decently long time, I like to fall asleep because I hate car rides because either they make me really nauseous and I get really dizzy and uh, sad and mad at the same time, I close my eyes and try to fall asleep. If it's a longer car ride than an hour, um, I usually try to fall asleep. You got to take those etiquette classes. What do you mean? Isn't etiquette like good behavior? Oh, like etiquette meaning like posture classes, right? Oh, do they do that in etiquette classes? Like, when I think of etiquette classes, I think of, like, the silverware on the table, the fancy china on the uh, dinner table, and then, like, the teacher's like, fuck. The teacher's like, grab the soup spoon. Now grab the salad fork. You guys know what the difference between a salad fork and a regular fork is? I actually prefer eating all the time with salad forks. So salad forks um, are a little wider than normal forks. They're they're shorter and wider where their little sharpie pointy things are. Now you know. I always so I've I have both salad and regular forks and most of the time I make sure to pick out the salad forks because it makes me feel good for some reason I don't know I feel wrong using regular forks unless it's at a restaurant then I don't pay attention but but other than that I do I know and uh to have really good posture I remember one time in like a group fo photo or something someone was like telling me how to do like the correct posture and you have to put your shoulders back your shoulders down and it's the most uncomfortable position for me it feels like my body should not be bending that way but that's the proper positioning um do you know the difference between the wooden chopsticks and steel Well, one you can throw away and the other you can reuse. Is that it? That I don't think that's right. I don't know. What's what's the difference? Regular fork are salad forks, but the dinner forks are huge. Oh, maybe I don't have salad forks. Uh I know what, what you're talking about, like the really big forks. I'm talking about the the, the salad forks that you used to eat. Not the ones you used to serve the salad. If that makes sense. 
and then soup spoons are wider and then also wow we're taking etiquette class with me i'm your teacher welcome ch not children class classmates well i'm your teacher i wouldn't call you guys classmates call me sensei you know Or Kaicho. Not Kaicho, that's president. Yeah, sensei. It would be sensei, right? For a teacher. Metal chopsticks oriented. Uh, no. Originated from Korean descent. While wooden chopsticks are Japanese. I did not know that. Hmm. That's interesting. I've always wanted to visit both Japan and Korea. I know some people who visited both at the same time. I don't know which ones they like better, though. They're probably both so cool. Because they're, they're sort of near each other. Geographically. Instead of going from either Japan or Korea to the U.S. No! Uh, they say, like, the long forked ones are dinner forks, not talking about the serve. Oh, maybe I'm talking about serving forks. Like, what are the wide, 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 they're not heads of the, the forks, but you know where the spiky things are? It's wider and thicker. I like those ones. I don't even know what they're called. But I, 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 I like using those ones a lot. Yeah. They're my favorite. Out of the fork yeah. family. Yep. Alright, alright. Alright. Sit up. Etiquette class. Shoulders back. Hips down. Head straight. Orange justice. Like the ones you use for ham? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. Whatever they are, I like those ones. Uh, I like I like to eat with those little bitty pickle forks. <laughs> oh wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Damn, there's so many different types of silverware. Who would have known? Should you know? Instead of a gaming channel. I'm going to make this channel a uh, silverware. I'm going to become a silverware reviewer. We're just going to review different types of silverware because there seems like there's a ton. And we're going to have etiquette class. Sorry. Going to do a whole rebranding. I'm inspired now. I can't stop. Once I have an idea, I just can't let it go. Okay, why are we messing this up? Same jump, we keep messing up. First jump. Oh, bad, 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 bad. It is so frustrating. Um. Your last video will be the final decision of what sulfate is the best. Oh, silver. I was like, sulfate? Isn't that like an element? Sulfur? The one that smells like rotten eggs? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll review different types of elements. And we'll consume each one and see what happens to us. Please don't do that. <laughs> Someone out there has probably tried that. And, th yeah. Yep. Oh. Ah! I'm shaking my arms. Oh. I don't know.
don't know what we're doing wrong now. I know what we're doing wrong. We're using the wrong hand to swing. Do the hop jump. What we were doing uh, at one point. See, I messed it up there. I tried to do the hop jump. It wasn't working that time. What is happening? There we are. Been trying to do that the whole time and it wasn't working. Um, being able to be like the sodium levels in sodium are high as compared to sulfate, which just tastes bad. <laughs> That's good. That's great content. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to watch that? Not me, if I'm going to be honest. Actually, it would be cool to see just some person eating elements or consuming copious amounts of that elements. But that would... No one should do that ever. It would be funny for a second, but then it would go wrong really fast. And then I would be sad. Ah, ah. Why, man? My timing is becoming terrible. Um, maybe I need to go more to the the left. I'm gonna smack my forehead on my desk. Say I won't. Triple dog dare me. I'm not letting go as I'm jumping. That's what I just realized. I'm holding two on. Too... Too late. Like, I'm holding on for too long. I need to let go earlier. Maybe if I started using the controller, I could do this. Swing. Yes. <laughs> you know, someone might call it skill issue, not me. I'm a good guy. Would a good guy say that? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <gasps> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not skill issue. I promise. We just been really unlucky with the glitches in this game. They really need to patch them out. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. It feels good. Da -da 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 -da. I knew that I shouldn't. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I feel. I used to listen to that song on my iPod Nano back in the day. I think I still have it. It's one of like the first, one of the earliest generations of iPods. You guys still have iPods? Probably not. I had a Nano because uh, iPod or iPod touches were too expensive. But now everyone has iPhones. You know, I, I, uh, I, iPod touches are not a thing. I know there there used to be a thing where if you had an iPod Touch, you could use your email and text people as if you had an iPhone. But I never had an iPod Touch. I don't even think they still make them. Um. <laughs> Too many glitches. Zero out of ten on Yelp. 
<laughs> Yelps for food. <laughs> Classic. I'm pretty sure Yelp is only for like food reviews. But you're right. I'll complain on Yelp. And the devs will have no idea. <laughs> that I even wrote a complaint. Alright, let's try this. Wait, don't pull. I keep sliding down, stop. Firm. Handshake. I don't understand, man. Uh. I'm writing a review on Yelp. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not me. This is not skill issue. I promise. This is hard. Yeah, it is. I thought since we only had one level to go, it wouldn't be so difficult. But this jump is crazy. I might be doing something really stupidly wrong like that was really dumb of me to do why did i just let go my hand gave out your 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 fingers become sore after a while because you're holding down so hard because you don't want to let go randomly but we did anyway so it didn't really matter yeah i thought we would have been done a lot sooner this actually might be the longest time we've spent on a level, right? Don't worry, it took me two hours to complete this area. Holy shit. Wait, what are we at now? <laughs> I feel like we're almost encroaching at that time. Let me see. So you're telling me it'll take two hours? Oh shit, we're almost there. We have 15 minutes left. So you're telling me in 15 minutes we'll win? I'll hold you to that chat. If I don't, everyone has to write a Yelp, a bad Yelp review. Nice. Oh my gosh. Why did we do that jump that way? It was for style points. <laughs> I did it in office hours, so I got paid for it. Maybe don't be saying that. <laughs> That's funny, but it's kind of based, if you ask me. We could get in trouble. I mean, if you have all your work done, you know, it doesn't really matter. Right? If you're good at it, you can complete it in 15. You're saying I'm not good? What are you guys saying? <gasps> I'm demoralized. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I think the world record for this game is like 15 minutes. Or less. I think when the first when the game first came out, like the first world record was 15 minutes or so. Or maybe it is at the current time right now. No, I mean, if no glitches, you're right. Yep. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> I'll forgive chat. Nice save. The reason why we're not going, or we're not having a 15 minute run is because we're having glitches. <laughs> that are definitely there and not a lie. And I'm not lying about that there are glitches in this game. I swear. I'm telling the truth. Nothing but the truth. Alright, go to the left side of the rock. Maybe this crack right here is good. We haven't hit that jump yet. Glitch. 
How long can we say that before it becomes too repetitive? <laughs> and too much like a lie. Even though it's not a lie that there are glitches. You know what I'm saying? You can't say that every time. You know? Or else it would make it seem like I'm lying about the glitches. <laughs> it's already repetitive. Oh. Yeah. That demon DNA is going to come out soon? Yeah. I'm keeping him at bay. But he's like banging on the cell cell door. In my stomach. Really? Really? My ear hurts. Ow. Ow, I let go. Oh, maybe it's because my DPI has changed. One more glitch and Dina's demons will be set free. You're right. One more and then he'll be free. You maybe start saying that your mouse isn't working or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me, I swear. It's the game and my mouse's fault. Believe me. Believe me, please. I'm good at video games, I swear. Grab. There we are. Almost reached it. Oh, there we are. Hup. 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 Nice jump. Nice. Go down a little bit. You have to slide instantly or else you fall way too fast. And normally I try to grab onto anything as I'm falling, just to see if I randomly um, grab onto something that helps us out. Why does this guy not get cold? He's cold blooded. He's like a reptile. Can humans be cold blooded or would they just perish instantly? Don't miss that. I don't want to fall. They would perish. Well, why can snakes be cold blooded, but humans can't? What? What would it take for one to become a cold blooded person? Humans are warm blooded. We need some to survive. So you're telling me if I. S sat in a very dark room with no sunlight ever you're telling me I would die I mean perish you're telling me I would perish actually I need to get some sunlight then. Because I'm like a vampire. When I see sunlight, I crawl into a dark hole. So I can get back in the shade. <laughs> what? <sighs> what 
are we doing wrong? <gasps> Maybe we're supposed to go lower. I really feel like we should be able to swing here. Alright. You can get vitamins to build on Nido Sunlight. And Flintstone gummies. I love them Flintstone gummies. Ah, uh, if only we had eaten our Flintstones gummies this morning, then we would have been able to beat this game already, but alas, we haven't. We didn't eat them this morning. We always, like, take that jump that we've been messing up at way too, uh, way too slowly. And that just messes up our rhythm. Like we're too cautious. I just need to send it. And stop like worrying about the consequences of falling. Because if I, if I worry about the jump, then I'm, no, no, it's I'm not going to make the jump. I'm just thinking, is there like a better... Hand. Hold. Um, there's a therape therapeutic version of this game called uh, Jassant, and it is so good. I bought it and completed it four times. Type this type of gameplay. A therapeutic version. So what? So what's therapeutic about these types of games? This game makes me rage. I'm basically almost bald. I almost look like the character of this game because all my hair has fallen out from rage. Because I'm malding. I'm mad balding. Because I'm so stressed. Because I can't make this freaking jump to beat the game. That is why I'm mad balding. Grew up on those, the Flintstone gummies. A lot of people have, I think. That was a close slip up. I didn't slide on the ice fast enough. What makes that game therapeutic? Maybe you don't fall. Um, let's see, just in his 3D and when you climb up, you can see your progress as the city gets smaller and smaller and it is very easy. Oh, yeah. so it's like pur purposefully easy, uh -huh. right? But it looks very nice to look at. That's a cool concept. Unlike this game, where it makes me mad every time we mess up. Little by little, my soul deteriorates from this game. As we keep playing. It is very beautiful. Oh, cool. I might check it out. Barely had a hold on that. I, I don't know what to do. It's fine, everything's fine. We'll get to that jump eventually, is what I'll keep telling myself. So I don't give up. Because once you give up, then it's over. It's Jover for you. I feel like never giving up is a good quality, but sometimes you need to give up in certain situations. It pains me.
against me as we hit our head on the the cold icicles of Mount Everest. Nice. I'll do that for every jump, please. I'll bribe you. Whatever you're going to get at the top of the mountain, whatever anyone has promised you, I'll double it. And and non money currency. I'll give you double IOUs instead of actual money. Triple, actually. They'll all be like notepads that say I owe you really scuffedly. His moanings are making me nervous. Nice. Breathe, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, 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 breathe in. Exhale, exhale, exhale. <gasps> Wait, I was just inhaling. <laughs> the way to be calm, cool, and collected is to just keep exhaling until something happens. I'm biting my tongue. Why didn't you not grab onto the rock that time, sir? Ah. Noises. Right, nice. Up a little more. No! No, dude. I wanted to take a nice, cool bath in this icy water to refresh my head. Now I'm just not even climbing on the grabbable rocks. I'm just trying to climb on the ice. Review on Yelp when? We're almost there. Not there yet. I'll let you guys know when the time comes. Alright, the time is coming closer for that Yelp review. Oh yeah, this is going to be a really long review. <laughs> I have a couple of words to say to the devs. No, I'm kidding. Game's really well made. Nice. Wasn't the best jump, but it was. It did the job. Uh, on that one jump, get up as high as you can on the rock and swing. <laughs> Thank you for the advice. 
I'm gonna assume you didn't look it up. So we'll go with that, right? Right, chat? <laughs> we'll go with that. I just found emojis. Yeah, YouTube has their own emojis, right? Uh, just jump higher. You're right. Wait, why haven't I been doing that? That cat emote is so cute. So as high as I can. So like up here. <gasps> yes! How do we do this jump? Oh, to the left. Right is bait. Right is, was bait. Oh. I was joking. But you weren't, though. <gasps> Mother! Everyone spam cat emote. For all the for all the cat lovers out there. <gasps> oh, Zooey Mama. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> the volcano emote is <laughs> so funny. What the heck? <gasps> oh. Oof. I can't mess yeah. up here. <gasps> oh, you mother. Nice. You have to do a little jump there. No! Another jump. <laughs> now you guys are just putting random funny em emotes. Alright, sing. That's there to save you. <gasps> Wait! Can you jump up from here? Is it, I don't think that's possible here. Let me, let me just do a nice little recovery. Slowly, slowly. Come on. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Uppermost left of this nudge, and then you jump. All right, so probably getting height on these slide jumps is most efficient. Don't slide down. I didn't tell you to do that. Nice save. We're saving this. Holy shit. I'm clenching my eyes that's the only thing I'm clenching all right so we're back up here all right third time's a charm I was too soon with that comment I'm not holding onto anything right now. Just once. Nice saves, but I want to get this jump. Yeah. Yeah. 
I almost let go of both hands. That would have been tragic. Uh. Yes. Why am I not getting enough? Like distance. Stay cool. Stay frosty. We can get up to here very easily, but this jump is so hard. Oh! Cat emotes in the chat, please. So close, I can taste the victory royale. What am I on with the Fortnite references today? First, it was Orange Justice, now it's Victory Royale. Oh, you sussy baka. This is stressing me out so badly. Do you guys have any ideas of what to do here, chat? I really don't know. So dumb. So dumb. Ah! I'm drinking coffee. Let me juice up. Mm. Wait, what time are we at right now? We're at 2:12. So this, this should take two hours, right? It's going to take like five hours. Holy shit, what am I saying? This is going to take forever. I've only made that really hard jump once. Ah. You should have a sicko mode model too. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Do you think we can get back up there? <sighs> it's going to take a while. I, I'm having a feeling. But we got up there once, so it should be doable to do again. We're just going to have to try to do that really hard jump that we've been struggling at for most of the stream for a second time. Can we do it? I don't know. I'll try my best, though. But then once we do that really hard jump that we've been struggling at for a long time, we found an even harder jump that we have to do. There's always something a little stronger after every jump or a little there's always a harder jump after the hard jump that you're struggling at life quote there's always someone stronger than you out there that's like the actual quote or something, I don't know. That's fine. Do 
demon has come out. Everyone hide. You guys can't run fast enough. Chat. When my demon, inner demon comes out, no one's safe. I'm sorry. What's done is done. I'm keeping him at bay, but I don't know for how long. Could be a minute. Could be years. Go back up. <gasps> that was so close. Let me stretch. Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. Everyone. Everyone. Every. 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 Everyone stand up. Stretch with me. Downward dog. Downward dog. stand up no i'm cozy okay well you got me there <laughs> i'm stretching because my body is sore from holding onto my mouse for dear life i am stretching in the weirdest way possible don't look at me i'm vulnerable right now all right everyone do neck rolls all right oh <sighs> All right. Yoga session is done. Now we shall win. I feel like a new person after that. <laughs> Just kidding. Stretching doesn't help. No one should ever stretch in their life. It's actually bad for you. Visual, physical education teaching stream one. I always thought about doing like something like that. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to do it though. Not physical education, but something with exercise. Because exercise is good for everyone. Even though sometimes it can be strenuous and very bothersome, it is good. People should exercise. It's healthy. Now do a hundred push-ups, ten miles, and a hundred sit-ups right now. If you can't do it in under an hour... You're never allowed to exercise ever again. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I just listen to them. And preach them. Yoga stream, but you need a full body suit. True. Um, he specializes it in all etiquette, physical education, uh, music, and peak gameplay, video gameplay. Right? Right? Exorcise? You're right. Nice play on words, chat. Exercise? Don't exercise me. Please don't. Please don't. Or else I'll disappear into the void. You guys don't want that, right? Zooey mama. Second time's a charm. Let's go. Oh, don't fall now. We just made that jump. Debatable. But why? <gasps> Sag emoji. <laughs> Sag emoji. Let's do it. Let's do it for the for the boys. Yeah. 
Slowly back away to prepare for the rage demon. Yeah, if I miss this jump. He's fully coming out. Imagine if when my inner demon came out, like my whole personality and voice changed into a different person. Wouldn't that be crazy? I didn't mess it up. Not yet, at least. Nice save. My hands are bleeding. Someone help. I'm bruised. Is there another way to do this? This jump is so hard. Wait. I think I know what we're supposed to do. I just figured it out. You're supposed to jump here. And then go up. Right? Maybe? Why is this here? No, nah, I don't think you're supposed to jump here, actually. Swinging would probably be easier. Um, if you put your hands on ice for too long, you get severe burns. Really? It's almost like if you put your tongue on something really icy and it gets stuck there. And then if you try to rip it off, you'll rip off your tongue. Um... Wait, don't fall down. I'm gonna try to just aim up. Like, maybe I'm supposed to be here, actually. No, I can't. I can't. Everyone believe. I think we can do it this time. It's because you guys believed. Coming more snowy. It's in my eyes. I can't see. Which way are we supposed to go? I'm going to go to the right. To the left. Oh, don't fall now. 
What's over here? What's over here? It's a little plug. Don't tell me I have to swing on this. No way. Can we do a full 360 on this? Oh no. Oh, <gasps> first try. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. That was crazy actually. Holy, holy guacamole. We're almost there, I can taste it. That icicle looks like an animal, like a dolphin, an ice dolphin. The snow has stopped. <gasps> yes! Wait, are we supposed to go over here? Climb this sign. Yay! Wait! Cut the way all the zip. We won! I have a crown! I'm the king of the world! Where's the end screen, though? Huh? Where's the... Where's the end screen? Uh. Where is it? Why? Can I not? Climb this, thank you. Where are we supposed to go, actually? It was like a fake ending. Keep going? But where? Ah! Dude! I can't grab onto it. I can't grab onto the satellite. There we are. Oh God. Don't tell me I have to jump. No, I don't. All right. So we're on the cloud now. Oh. <gasps> How many clouds do we have to climb? I have to swing and jump? Are you freaking joking me? If there's a cloud level, I'll cry. <gasps> First try. That was a scary ass jump. Yes. Yes. Keep going. It's becoming quiet. There's no music anymore. <gasps> A ladder. Will it lead us to... Wait, what is this? We've been in a dome this whole time? Is this what heaven is? We're just living in a dome? We're living in the matrix? Nothing's real? We're being watched by uh, aliens? Yeah. Don't tell me it's another level. Please. Is this it? Oh god, I think there's another level. <gasps> Wait. Wait. We have to climb the words. Created by Ponty Pants. That is the creator of the game. Special thanks. It's kind of satisfying. To Bennett Foddy. Is that why they're called Foddy in games? Because of Bennett Foddy? I think he was the dude who made uh, Getting Over It. The dude with the hammer in a pot. That game. 
Oh wait, I didn't read this stuff. Remember, to live is to, oh. That's a positive quote. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. I don't know how to say that person's name. Yeah. The end. All right. Let's do a cannonball in the water. Let's go. Was that it? Or is there any more? There's more. Oh. Wait, we won, right? Yeah. I can celebrate now? Wait, can we celebrate? Yeah. Is this truly the end? I'm making sure that this is the same as the beginning. I don't want to celebrate too soon. It's a fake ending. You're lying to me. Can we celebrate now? Is this hell truly over with? Yeah, let's go. Finally, spam cats, spam cats. When I say spam cats, you guys already know what to do. Spam the emotes of the cats in the boxes. <gasps> let's freaking go, dude. We are the best in the world. I think we 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 set a world record today. Do you guys think that? I I really think we were that fast today. Yes, cats, more, more cats, more cats in the chat. <laughs> I just love how they're just chilling in a box. <laughs> and look, we, yeah, <laughs> world record. <gasps> Let's go. It's, it's the fastest world record in the world. I know that because we have the Burger King hat on our head right now, covering our head keeping us warm let's go we might as well just play it again to see how easy this game is now look look so easy just kidding we're done psych you're going back in the water dunzo you're dunzo we're ending on a high note why am i not centered oh it's because we're stretching should we victory stretch no 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 we're chilling. Let's go, dude. I'm so happy. It only took us two and a half hours for one singular level, too. I think that was the longest time it took for us to beat one level. Your shrimp posture is begging for a stretch. Oh, if you guys insist. <laughs> Why are you guys encoring stretching, stretching lessons? All right. Let's stretch. All right, everyone to the right. Everyone to the right. Oh, my neck. It's broken. I stretch too hard. To the left. Did I mix up the, my lefts and the rights? I said to the left and I moved right. All right, full circle. Nice. All right, that's enough for today. <laughs> I dislocated my head. Yeah, all my body parts are dislocated. So when I sleep tonight, I'll be very comfortable. Well, let's go. Let's freaking go, everyone. That's so exciting. We beat it. We beat it. We beat a difficult game about climbing. It took forever. I mean, how long total did we spend on this game? Let me see. How long did it take us? You guys know?
How many times, how many hours have we spent on this game? Probably a long time. Wait, it was only three streams that we played this. Three, like four. Oh, it only took us like nine hours. Like two and a half, just for today. But total, overall, like nine. Damn. We did that. We did that. Let's go. I know the game was really hard at the beginning because you literally have to learn all the methods to moving around, which took us forever at the beginning. We were struggling at that, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Then the second hardest thing to do was to actually conquer each level. I think going from level one to four was pretty easy. Once we got the hang of the movement, we went through the levels pretty quickly or relatively easy um the jumping mechanic you learn at like level five or six which really is hard to do that one part what we did last stream where we started last uh uh a difficult game about climbing stream uh where we started last time where you, you have to learn the jump, where the game makes you learn the jump, it that part is so hard. And they implemented that jumping mechanic into this last level, but also with the ability that you have to learn about sliding on the ice, as well as doing the jumping maneuver. Um, <laughs> he did that, that's right we did it it was a group effort yeah the swing sometimes you could actually jump though like you you wouldn't need to swing but you would get enough momentum by just putting your opposite hand to the side and then just swinging over you know but we did it we did it there was the fake ending too that really stressed me out because i was worried that if we fell there at the top of that house where that's uh the confetti was i thought we would um fall all the way back to the bottom um let's see Well, well, we get to go to bed winners next stream. Next stream is Saturday. We're going to be playing a new game. Um, also, there might be something put out later this week. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Because I have extra time in my week to do this whatever thing. It's a video. What am I saying? It's a video. We don't need to keep secrets. I already dropped it. No need to keep secrets anymore. We already dropped our first video, which you can actually check out on the video tab. Check it out. Check it out. I worked really long and hard on that. Um, next video is... Uh, I don't want to spoil it. It was great. I recommend. Yes, recommend to all of your friends and family. It's great for everyone. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your grandpa, your dog. Everyone will love it. And friends... And of course, don't forget friends. But with that being said, thank you everyone who stopped by today. I really appreciate it. And then, uh, wait, <laughs> I lost my train of thought and suffered with me along the way throughout this game. I really appreciate it. Next stream Saturday for a new horror game, Shinkansen, which will be Saturday. Like I said, something will drop. Well, a video is going to drop this week. So make sure you're on the lookout. 
I'll make sure you guys sort of know when it's going to come out relatively. Um, yeah. But I hope everyone has a great rest of your night. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right. See you later. Peace out. Peace out, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you for stopping by. Like always. See you later, everyone. See you later, Tom. Atomic code, thanks for stopping by. Oh my gosh, I'm jumbling up my words. Recommend to your boss and all of your colleagues, yes, they will all love it. <laughs> I am basically Netflix now. Everyone will have me in their household. <laughs> that sounded so weird. Uh, but see you later, everyone. See you, VB. See you, Flame. See you, GG. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, everyone who stopped by. I really appreciate it. All right, peace out, everyone. Peace out, everyone who's stopping by, especially the lurkers, too. I don't forget about you guys. All right, peace out, everyone. Peace. See you next time. Peace.